Hello there, welcome to part 10 of Worldwide Metal Detecting Finds. This one's going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to slaver on with any advice or anything like that. There's been some wonderful finds found from all over the world with all sorts of detectors and I really appreciate everybody who's taken the time to shoot a short video and send it in for any of these videos in the series. I'm going to keep this intro fairly short because I've held back on making this part 10 for so long, partially due to the pressures of work, which is easing up a little bit now that I've decided to give up landscaping, and um, also because I want part 10 to contain a lot of finds. So this one, as far as the finds sections goes, will be quite long, and there's some cracking finds in here again. If you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe to everybody who's been good enough to contribute a video for this episode. And I just want to take just a few seconds to point out a feature on YouTube that not many people might be familiar with. I know I wasn't myself until a couple of weeks ago, and I've been on here for years. If you go onto somebody's channel, next to the name, quite near the top of the screen, where it says subscribe, there's this little wheel shape thing. If you click on that, that's the sentence for your subscription to that particular channel. From there you'll be given the option to receive an email every time that channel uploads a new video. So if you haven't already subscribed to me, click that little wheel thing, select to be informed every time I upload a new video. And please do the same for everybody else who's involved in this series. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Hi everyone, my name is Mark, I'm from the Netherlands and my YouTube channel is 1979MDG and this is my next entry for the World Best Finds. It's a silver coin, a dime. Uh, what made it so special is that it's from 1819 and there were only struck 25,000 of these coins. Um, other coins were struck in the millions, but this one only struck 25,000. So it's uh, uh, worth a lot of money. And uh, I found it on a plowed field with the AT Pro and it's part of my collection. This is my video for Pond Guru's Worldwide Metal Detecting Finds. Um, this is a war merit badge, obviously from the Nazi time. Uh, and I found this in the uh, in a wooded park um, in uh, Bavaria. And yeah, so there you go. It's completely intact. silver plated zinc alloy. Good. Hello everybody, this is um, Belgai81. Uh, this is the first and only Roman coin I have ever found. Um, it was not very deep in the ground. I think it says Imp Caesar Trajanus, but I'm not really sure. Um, on the other side it has AX and uh, I think a TR um, and it has SC on the bottom for Senatus Consultos and I think it might be the goddess uh, of peace Pax so thank you for watching any comments on Balgai81 Bye bye. Hey Pond Guru, Biggest Diggus here. I uh, wanted to show you guys a button I found about six inches down with my Garrett AT Gold. The button is uh, circa 1860 to 1870. It's an Irish Republican Army uniform button that was used during the Finian raids on Canada. Uh, a rare find, actually, uh, especially for Connecticut. But I would like to thank everyone on the TreasureNet forum for helping me with the identification of it. And thanks Panguru for the videos. Till next time, enjoy and happy hunting guys. Hi Panguru. This is my 
video for the Nation of Finds. This is a token of some sort. I, I think it is. This looks like a kangaroo and I I'm not sure but this side it's an elephant for sure. And you know I found this at the mountain mountains in Norway because I live in Norway kinda hard to see there you can see it better much better and here it is the kangaroo it's made of copper for sure because you can see the patina or it's made of bronze I'm not sure but it's at least copper so this has soaked in oil and yeah it looks quite nice hi everybody I'm Dave from Relic Hunting Scotland and this is my entry into Pong Guru's World Finds Part 10 it's a copper pendant Victorian and found in a field on the banks of the River Leven uh, last week. The goddess is Hathor and she was the protective goddess and also the goddess of love and joy. She's wearing a headdress of horns and a sun disc and hieroglyphics round about her. There's an urn there and two fish there and other symbols. On the back there's a sphinx with pyramids either side and hieroglyphics again. I believe this to be a very rare find, especially in Scotland or anywhere really. Um, but the uh, Victorians were obsessed with ancient Egypt, so I guess they had trinkets and things. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Hello guys, it's the Aussie Coin Shooter here. Today I'm just putting in an entry for Pond Guru's worldwide metal detecting finds. So here are just two of my best finds so far. Just this 1919 Australian penny. Um, it's pretty nice, good condition. Found it about two, three months ago in an old park. Also, my other favourite find is this one. It's just uh, an old chicken whistle, a rooster whistle, and they're pretty rare. And I found it in the hole, but it was cracked in half. So that's the only bad thing. But yeah, it's in pretty good condition. Alright, guys, so subscribe to the Aussie Coin Shooter and Pond Guru. Alright, see you guys, have a nice day. Hello, everyone. Um, I found this 50 pesetas Franco coin, Spanish coin. And I know there's nothing strange about that, but I found this coin 10 feet underwater in 5 inches of sand off the island of St. Kitts in the Caribbean with my Garrett Infinium LS. Thank you very much for watching. Hey all. Well, this is my find for Pongo's Worldwide Finds. Um, I found this find approximately about 8-9 inches down in a World War II trash pit on an American Army base that I hunt. Uh, I found it with a CTX and this is actually a silver marksman and medallion, an expert one. And this is a sharpshooter badge. They're just general awards given for the riflemen in World War II in the American Army. Um, my name is John24Gold1, and you can view my channel via YouTube. Thanks for watching. This is Matt98626, and here's another find that found yesterday. It's the uh, Henry II half penny, or something, half <laughs> It's found two inches deep on the child's build with a Joan Allen coin shooter. I've only found that same second hand toy. Not uh, not really in condition. You can see the hand there and then half the head. They were bent in half. 
So I spend it back a bit. Got a few, got a couple of cracks. Can't really see them. It's not brilliant, but it's a good form. Good point. Thanks for watching. Hello guys, Mental Detecting Palmer here. <coughs> It's been a while since I did the last Ponguru Worldwide Metal Detecting Finds video, so I thought I'd do one again. Um, in the meantime, I found loads of amazing finds. I thought I'd just show you one. Okay, so what we have here is a hammered coin, Venetian Soldino. Oop, let's have a look. Ooh, can you see it? Can you not? Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Very delicate. Okay, so <clears throat> it's dated late 14th century, like 1390 or something. Found it with the Garrett Ace 250 mm, and the SEF 15 times 12 coil in the woods. It was right next to a piece of aluminum foil, aluminium, tin foil, as <laughs> I would say normally. And yeah, really great find, I think. Mm, I'm not sure if it's silver, if it is. Yeah, I wasn't brave enough to clean it. Uh, I was frightened damaging it, so I think it's in great condition, so I'll just leave it like that. Okay, please check out my channel. Bye. Hello, this is my contribution to Pond Guru's Worldwide Metal Detecting Finds. This is a brooch I found on pasture at about five inches deep with the Garrett Ace 250. The design on the arms is of what appears to be a zoomorphic, uh, looks like a crocodile. There are traces of gilding on it and there have been Roman um, artifacts and coins taken out the uh, the area that I found it in. There is some trace of gilding on it. Um, my YouTube name is Mr. Phil the Mole. Uh, there's a couple of other bits on my uh, YouTube, but I'm only just sort of, uh, getting off the ground. Thanks very much. Hi everyone, I am Meriton62 from France, and this is my entry for Pongu Worldwide Metal Detecting Fans. I want to show you today a Roman silver coin which I found with the Garrett Ace 250. It was about 4 inches deep. It is a denier from Nerva. Nerva has been emperor from 96 to 98 after the feast. The other face indicates Concordia Exercitum, which means the harmony of the armies and represents a handshake. It is a kind of call for legends to make peace after the murder of the mission. Thanks for watching. Hey Tubers, this is Pestleman1951 and I just discovered Pond Guru's excellent um, worldwide metal detecting and now other finds challenge. And so I'm throwing one up here and this is for a Clovis point. Now this is the oldest known, was the oldest known point in the Americas for the last 70 years or so, but just lately in the last few years, a few guys have uh, started seriously proposing uh, older sites and an older culture before these. And it, this has been a real mystery for many years. And this year, these are the most um, valued and collected points uh, worldwide. They're found, uh, you know, there's big collectors for them in Germany, Japan, just all over, as well as the Americas. And uh, th this point here uh, dates uh, to about 11,500 years ago, and uh, it's made from uh, highly agatized petrified wood. It's uh, very, very translucent. And uh, I, I have a feeling if it didn't have this uh, really strong ground staining here on the back, that it would almost be transparent. <laughs> well, anyway, I found this one here in uh, Arizona. I'm a, uh, I've been hunting and collecting Na Native American artifacts for uh, uh, 40 years. If you like to, if you like this kind of stuff, go to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. 
Hello everybody, my name is John. My YouTube name is Jetski John 2006 This is my latest find, which is a Victoria Gothic Florin, which is one tenth of a pound, dated 1857, found last week in Cheshire with a Garrett A250, which was only about three to four inches deep, which obviously you couldn't miss a signal this big. So I just thought I'd share it with you guys and thanks for watching and take care. Happy hunting. Bye for now. Hello everybody, my name is Connor. My YouTube channel is Connor0044. Um and this is the find I'd like to enter into Pong this episode of Pongo's Worldwide Metal Detecting Finds. Not a metal detecting find but it's closely related and as you can see it's a Neolithic flint scraper or chopper dating to 4000 to 2500 BC uh, because that's when um, Neolithic activity started in Ireland where I'm from. Now this is found on the beach um, in summer 2012 actually by my brother and uh, it's a very 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 nice find and a nice uh, relic, nice artifact. It's a flint scraper or chopper and I hope you like go check out my channel Connor0044 I have lots of metal detecting videos and I've, I've um, found some stolen things so be sure to check out my channel Connor0044 Neolithic flint scraper or chopper thanks for watching hello youtubers Ed here from uh, Facebook site facebook.com forward slash detecting UK this is my find for Ponguru's uh, Worldwide Metal Detecting Finds. It's an uh, 1847 uh, wedding band ring, as far as I can make out. Um, it's all marked 1847. It's 18 karat gold. And uh, yeah, lovely find. My first bit of gold. Um, only had my XP Gold Max for about two weeks and found this amongst lots of ring pools, so took some finding. Yeah, um, stick around for a lot more where this to come. Cheers, bye bye. Hello, I'm Richard, and this is my find for this particular episode of Worldwide Metal Detecting Finds. It's a cuboid shaped dice or die, uh, game and piece, shall we say? I'm not quite sure whether it's dice or die. It's number three, one, six, three, again, two, five. Every side's got a different number on, obviously, as a dice would, or as a die would. Except with this one, opposing sides don't add up to seven, which I think all other dice do. So a two, you should get five on the other side of that, except you've got a one. Four, you should have three on the other end of that, but you've got six. And given its shape, it's very likely to land on either six or four. So I can only imagine that in the time when this was used, and I presume it dates to Georgian times because I found Georgian coins around it, um, there'd be quite a lot of fights erupt if this was actually used as a game and piece because it's most likely to land on four or six. To most people that might just seem like a pointless piece of metal, but this is the one find out of all the things that I've ever found that my wife has actually been interested in. So that makes it extra special. No real value to it, but this is the one thing when she actually said, do you know that's really interesting? Action. Hi, my name is Jim. My YouTube channel is The Geekzoid. I hunt with a MyLab XS Explorer metal detector. I hunt in Plover, Wisconsin, hence the big cheese head. That's what we are in Wisconsin. And I'd like to show you my great find. It's these 35 20 cent piece from 1937 Indochina French coins. They're not the best shape, but they were all in one roll, about three inches underground, in a paper roll. And I opened them up and I thought they were a battery. Excellent find. Except they all got these little tiny holes in there. I don't know the story on those. But uh, that's my great find. I want to thank um, Pond Guru for showing me about this channel here. Really enjoy it. 
And uh, once again, my YouTube channel is The Geekzoid. I have this video on there if you want to watch it and subscribe. I enjoy it and love Metal Detect. Thank you very much. Hi guys, it's Lewis here, Detecting the Midlands from YouTube. This is my entry for Ponguru's Worldwide Metal Detecting Finds. This is an absolutely beautiful Iron Age Gold Stator from the Karitani tribe. It's a VEP Stator. I found this about 5-6 inches down with the XP Goldmax Power in Leicestershire. And it's my best find today really. Absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching. I'm going to take a break for a while from making these videos because I want to concentrate on making my own metal detecting videos but if you have something to show please by all means send it in. What I'm going to do with parts 1 to 10 of the find series I'm going to cut out all of my nonsense in them and I'm going to compile all of those into one mega video of metal detecting finds. It's got some phenomenal stuff in there and to have all of that in one video will be awesome, will be absolutely awesome. Everybody that's contributed to the whole series, parts 1 to 10, I'm going to list them in the description of that compilation video with a link to each and every one of their channels. So watch out for that video. It's going to take me a while to do it because there's a lot of footage there, but that should be a really great video to look out for. Anybody who has spare videos, i.e. they've sent me two or three or even more for forthcoming episodes, I'm going to put those I'm going to scatter them around in the compilation video. So instead of being featured maybe once in there, you'll be featured four or five times. So that's about it. I don't think I've got anything more to say, except a big thank you to everybody who's viewed this video, everybody who's clicked like, everybody who's taken time to comment or share, and also, and more importantly, everybody who's taken the time to produce a short video for any of the episodes in this series. It wouldn't be possible without you. I wish everybody the best of luck, no matter what detector they're using, no matter where they're using it, no matter what part of the world they're in. The stuff is out there, so get out there and find it. Thanks for watching. I am not gay, I never have been gay.